little girl. Let's remove that nasty tick from your face. So I was grooming this uh, old little girl. She's 15 years old. And I thought she had a, a growth on her face because, you know, she's got growths all over. But I was wrong. Oh, it's a nasty tick and it's huge. And when I saw it, I screamed because I really don't like bugs. They freak me out. Like spiders are the worst for me and their legs remind me of spider legs. So I really have a difficult time seeing the bug, right? Um, especially attached to a dog. So I got my uh, my tick twister here. There's two of them. There's a small one for smaller ticks and a big one for big ticks. Now I assume since it's pretty big, yeah, it might be too small. I'm gonna use the big um, tick twister. So I just wanted to show you how I use the twister. Now it's called tick twister because you do have to twist it. I do have a previous video of me taking out a tick. It was much smaller though, so it was a little bit easier for me. And I twisted it. A lot of people are saying, you don't twist, you don't twist. Well, that's what the instructions say anyways. And that's what I've learned. And that's what my vet told me to do is you, you put it under the tick. You twist it and out comes the tick. And this one's a big one. So I might scream when it comes out, but I want to show you how I do it. All right. So I am going to do it. I just hope I don't freak out if it moves or anything. But so what I do is I put it under the tick. Ooh, ooh, the poor dog right on his face. I didn't see any other ones around um, on the body. Okay, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. And uh, yes, it will get stuck on the hair. God, I might even need a bigger one. It seems to not go under. Oh, there we go, I think. Oh, nasty buckers. All right, I got it under the tick. Now, I just wanna move the hair around just so I get less hair because this dog is old and has a sensitive uh, mouth. Okay, here goes. Now I have a pen underneath here to collect it because I don't want it. Oh, 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 shoot. Sorry, I, I, I panicked and I uh, lost control. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so at least you didn't hear me scream at the top of my lap. Ooh, I was just rolling around. Anyway, oh. There it is. I'm glad it's not, oh, it's starting to move. I see the legs, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna put this in a baggie and give it to the owner and she can take it to the vet and they can check what kind of tick it is. And the dog will need, um, they can do a blood test to check for Lyme disease. And I'm also gonna ask her if she's on tick uh, preventative because uh, I think if she was, the tick wouldn't get so big, right? They, the tick bites the dog and then it dies. Oh, look at it. Oh. So I put a dime beside it just to show you how big it is. They're so ugly. Sorry, is it getting blurry? They're so ugly. Um, oh, I just hate them. So the skin is a little bit swollen around it. Oh, I'm gonna tell her to go to the vet anyways. It's not bleeding or anything. It has a little bit of crusties here. Probably the ticks, I don't know, debris or something. Oh, so gross. So there you go. So this is the little dog, and this is uh, 15 years old. She just had the one tick on her face. And we got it off, yes? And your mommy's gonna take you to the vet and take care of you. Oh, you're okay now. So this is the little dog, and this is uh, 15 years old. She just had the one tick on her face. And we got it off, yes? And your mommy's gonna take you to the vet and take care of you. Aw, oh, you're okay now. So I wanna thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy my videos. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next video. Come here, baby. Finish. I don't know about your face, though. Be very careful.